What's up guys, it's Robo Freak here, and today I'm going to show you the adapter for the stepper motor that I made. Now, I'm going to first talk about how I built it and the materials. It's made out of styrene plastic that I got at my local hobby shop. I picked up one um, sheet of 1.5 millimeter thick uh, styrene, and I cut nine circles out, as you can see. I only used five of the circles because four of them didn't come out good, so that. Um, the tubing that goes down that fits over the motor shaft on the adapter is um, quarter inch styrene uh, tubing and it fits pretty snugly over the um, uh, stepper motor shaft. So it was a pretty good choice and I was lucky that I found it because it was very it was a very snug fit and it fit the, uh, the shaft perfectly. Now, let me give you an up close here. I have four holes that I drilled. It is basically a tube that goes through a very thick sheet that I made. And if you can see that, the tube, you can kind of see the outline of the tube. It goes all the way through this. And on the inside, it's glued in, as well as a little bit up here. And it's got a little bit of glue up there. You can't see it. So that was that. And then up here, uh, this is not uh, one sheet. As you can see, I used one and a half millimeter uh, sheet. This is almost eight millimeters. Now it's probably a little bit more than eight millimeters thick, but it is five circles put together with epoxy. And that created the one point or the eight millimeter thick um, uh, sheet up here, which gives it a lot more strength and then I sanded everything down with a belt sander and then I used an orbital sander to smooth everything out and then I painted it flat black and here it is now. Now when it fits over the motor you gotta give it a little push it fits over pretty snugly as I said. Now it's not 100% like if you use it to play with right now and just you know not really putting too much torque onto it, it'd work fine. Friction would hold it on just fine. But when you start putting torque into this, you're going to need to secure it to the shaft somehow, either with super glue, epoxy, something, and then that'll hold it. Silicon, maybe. That's uh, that's how you have to, you'd have to hold it onto the shaft. But for the most part, it works fantastic. It came out ten times better than I thought it would, for just for a prototype that I built in my house on my own and it took under two hours to construct it from the time I got the materials to the time it was glued together and then that does not include painting though painting took a little bit longer it had to dry for about an hour to two hours so let's give it a try let me connect the power like so Move in the camera Now, the holes that I drilled, I don't know if you've noticed, they're not 100% aligned because I don't have a drill press, and using a hand drill, I did the best I could, but if these parts were made in mass production, they would be cast, and the, it would be made from a computer model, so the holes would be lined up. I'm going to go backwards to revolutions. Well, that was three times, but... Alright, now I'm going to go backwards one revolution. I'm going to go... Whoops. Yeah, my program has problems when you send it data. Oh, hang on. Not, i got to reset the Arduino. It has problems when you send it data when it's running, which is what I did. I double click. That's kind of stupid. But, um, go to this. I'm going to go forward four revolutions, and I'm going to go as the fast as I can right now. It's probably 350 because the battery is pretty, pretty low on juice. Go backwards. 
So all in all, I think it's a fantastic adapter, and I would hope that SparkFun takes this up and actually starts making them. I do know that they make their laser module um, adapter. It it's, has the uh, SparkFun logo in it, so I'm pretty sure that they had those cast. Well, no, it's for their laser card module. Uh, it's that little thing where you put the laser in. So if they can cast that, they can cast a part like this. So if you like it, please rate, comment, and subscribe.